We have some breaking news to report. CBS News has confirmed former astronaut and American hero John Glenn has died. Glenn, a pioneer of space travel, was the last surviving member of the original Mercury 7 and a longtime senator for the state of Ohio. He was 95 years old. Congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes has his story. From the cosmos to Capitol Hill and then back again, John Glenn was an astronaut, a politician, and a patriot. Godspeed, John Glenn. On February 20th, 1962, John Glenn famously became the first American to orbit the Earth. Oh, that view is tremendous. Glenn's experience as one of the original seven Mercury astronauts, heroes at the height of the Cold War, was immortalized in the epic film, The Right Stuff. Years before he made history aboard his Friendship 7 spacecraft, Glenn flew fighter planes for the Marine Corps, racking up 149 missions during World War II and Korea. During his four terms in the Senate, Glenn was a key player in democratic politics, serving as chairman of the powerful Governmental Affairs Committee. But his hero status didn't translate into national political appeal. I believe this nation of ours can be number one in this world. His bid for the presidency in 1984 never really got off the ground. Glenn's political career was further marred by the savings and loan scandal. Having accepted a $200,000 campaign contribution from financier Charles Keating, Glenn was dubbed one of the so-called Keating Five. Glenn eventually was cleared of wrongdoing, but was found by a Senate commission to have used, quote, poor judgment. After serving nearly a quarter century on Capitol Hill, Glenn retired from politics in 1998. That same year, nearly 40 years after his first NASA journey, Glenn returned to the stars. Lift off of Discovery with a crew of six astronaut heroes and one American legend. At the age of 77, the first American to orbit the Earth made history once again, becoming the oldest human ever to travel into space. The nation's senior astronaut returned to Earth with a message for other Americans his age. I think too often people set their lives by the calendar. Old folks have ambitions and dreams too, like everybody else. And why don't they work for him? Why don't they go for it? Don't sit on a couch someplace. That's my attitude. And Glenn followed his own advice, staying politically active until the end, publicly opposing the decision to end the space shuttle program. President Obama awarded him the Medal of Freedom in 2012. John Glenn has streaked through three days. Now, as a nation bids farewell to a true hero, Americans for one last time can wish John Glenn Godspeed. Godspeed, John Glenn. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, Washington.